how the Hasahana Irrigation Water Project is transforming Mokurwini. The sweetness in this area is very crucial to sweet potato production. Kuligana hara tu kinyete ne trona ne kore tu getu taiya todo tashiana si to ginya ne shi ne rato do mileria tu tira kono na tu harabe tu ige o kono mawaga nuna mone ma ne ma dirira goko ne dai deke tamu no mono mono ne shi ne idwari te bere a kono ne shi ana gata go do mileria a kono ne guaka gaka kure idia gare idia ne nyone te ki idwara we gapi daya yo e iguru hani ne go kira daya ria ge. It has been a great improvement as they are earlier on. We were not able to carry out the farming to such an extent due to the challenges of water. For many years, the residents of Mokoroini Central Ward in Mokoroini Sub-County have had an insurmountable obstacle to their progress as a community, the lack of water. When people cannot get access to water, their lives are disrupted, stalled, and economic decline may even occur. Water is life, as the saying goes. We rely on water for our food, our health, our livelihoods, and for fun and leisure. But water can also take away life, and the absence of water can be even worse. The reprieve for the residents of Mukuroini Central Ward came in the form of the rehabilitation of the Thiha Sagana Irrigation Water Project. The project was jointly funded by the County Government of Nyeri under the stewardship of His Excellency Governor Motahi Kahiga with the World Bank through the Kenya Smart Climate Agriculture Project KSAP at a cost of about 31 million Kenya shillings. The project activities involved upgrading of water intake, protection of the Diha River banks, installation of conveyance and distribution pipes and infills, and the construction of a project office block. The project, which started in June 2020 and ended in February 2021, was handed over to the beneficiaries and has directly benefited 1,536 members who irrigate about 396 acres. The project was founded by some of the respectable leaders in the area, including the late Richard Kagushia Gishohi, further to Nyeri Speaker Honorable John Kagushia. The crops under irrigation include bananas, beans, sweet potatoes, plus other high-value horticultural crops. Elizabeth Wanjogo, a member of the Diha Sagana Irrigation Project and a beneficiary of its rehabilitation, noted that this project has changed her fortune, saying that since its rehabilitation, it has positively impacted a family and improved the living conditions in their home. I am a good person. I am a 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 person. Wilson Mwangi, another farmer who hails from Bogwa area and has since ventured into sweet potato farming, has nothing but gratitude for KSAP and the county government of Nyeri for how the project has notably transformed his life. He is on his second harvest since the project was rehabilitated and he attributed this to the constant supply of water that he is now experiencing in his farm. He further added that from the harvest, there has been value addition to his family as well as seeing that their basic needs are met and through the profits ripped, the horizons have expanded. No, Murio Abukoma, when I buy you go to the Guasinaya, I run a vitamin, 
na ugekompia na yogi wasi yono ina kata kukira abinye yogi todo ina abinye vitameni nyige kukira amure yosi yogi to hadaka abere na ndaka ita ite kabinye kwa sa abinye fami ni todo kukirake gigeka According to Peter Maina, a sweet potato farmer and the chairman of the Viha Sagana Irrigation Water Project, said that the project has been quite beneficial since its actualization. Gwashe ni kedu ni kedu kimwe tuari magoko kwa wiki. Na tuge kuliga na hara tu kinye tena tu na ni kore tu getu tayi tu do tashi na shito ginya ni shi ni ratu do mideria tu tira kono na tu harabi tu ige. O kono mawaga nu na mone ma ne ma diri ra goko tu tiko tu na mawaga nu. Ate aga siju ya gagoko ya kune kuiru waga neko dhiri ya tea. Tumangani tu netuwe heru. Nigeko kehona tutiri ya doa hotu. Hale ya tukinyete utu ya do mahonete. Ona kue huba adone mare huba. Koko hithu ini tuwa amenya tuwe bere. Kaisa pune tu utetahane na muno 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 muno. He noticed that their area is semi-arid and their progress as a community was curtailed by the lack of constant water supply. Na hau bere tu wako wana madhina maigi mwono tu ginya kule hithi ya kule hithi ya kula kwa wale dhena. Kula hithi ya uka kula kwa rali wa ngobe no tu kiugire ne kuwedi ya tokodi. Na sana sana watu tiyari hithi ya ngobe ya giredi. Tu wala hithi ya ngobe ya kukolo ya nakaguku. Tu wala unoko kala hota kuzuta mili ya rali ya goko. Na liwa rali ya goko. Na vimo hede ya tu wala hula gero o hede o hede o hede. Chia maeni maagire. No... Kuma hede oru une tu waki nila tu kege liya ucha liya jira ili ya tu ogete hitheka. Mufadhiri ogeto fadhiri. Na neho tu waki nila tu kiona niyo ni arata na case up. He further added that with the rehabilitation of the project, the residents of the area have ventured in horticulture and dairy farming, which was unheard of, and this has undoubtedly enhanced their lives wholly. Kwa 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 k Tu mara dia lagi, awak dia ke faruah nak nak kore, mego kuat dua mara lebih rafer hari ini. Maka uga tina ini nasi okir eh. Na hendak ada mara tu tina ini itu nanti itu tu tu dia ku hanga hanga. Lu tu eh lu tu dia ku mani nani ni lah no gaya ni ni tu nak kene ira tu. Asyik macam tu tak tina ini. Lu kejiran ni kene awak mara kate. Neo maroka kutulia umegoda na neo ginya ona kumakobu ni tuwa makobu hivya megoda. The area MCA Honorable Gaderu wa Mai said that the project has helped in provision of reliable water for farming, women empowerment in food production, involvement of youth in modern farming, and a way of creating employment which has also played a significant role in reducing crime rate in the area. It has really impacted the lives of our people. Our people are able to grow sweet potatoes, our roots which they are able to sell and uh, make some good amount of money that they are able to take their, school, their children to school without a lot of struggle. And this is something that if we reciprocate in many other areas, it will be able to help our, our people. And I want to tell you that this is a game changer for our community. Edward Kefisha from Getundo area, who is also another beneficiary, thanked Governor Kahiga and Area MCA Honorable Wamai for the project since the farmer has been able to utilize the water in growing of strawberries, cucumbers, and rearing of ornamental fish, which has earned him good income. I'm a beneficiary of the Kaisa project, whereby they have installed the irrigation water, and I have been using it in growing of various crops, such as the cucumbers. I have also got some strawberries, and in addition, I have also fish pots, about eight of them. And it has been a great improvement as they are earlier on. We were not able to carry out the farming to such an extent due to the challenges of water. Now with the renovation by the county government, we are able to, I am able to utilize it fully to the maximum. And I, I do what I need uh, about a quarter per season so that I can have a flow of income throughout the year and currently I, I have got cucumbers that I'm taking to the market and also the strawberries uh, coming coming 
after the cucumber in the greenhouse i have got some also the english cucumber which which shall be in the market in a month's time uh, then the strawberries that, that one which requires water throughout the growing season and it, it goes for about three years now i have got the supply i i have got a constant supply of water and then I, I am also able to supply the market continuously without the shortage of water. My word to the youths who are looking for other jobs in the towns, I can, I can, I can encourage them to come in the village and do the farming. There is a lot of income. If you can uh, operate even uh, have a nicker with the irrigation water, you are capable of having money throughout the year. And despite the variations in the market, you still have something to put in the, on the table and something to save. In dairy farming value chain, several farmers have also benefited through biogas project, which is a clean and cheap source of energy. Stephen Miner and his wife Lucy from Kifoya village noted that the project has greatly benefited them since the energy is sustainable reliable and affordable and at the same time protective of the environment nima ndikorere nire ndaigetie tondu nditogagirero ona ndiunaga ngu okonta gukira dokira tene gukira gano kefiriti joyaga eke njuge ni ndaithikite nyudwa acio matureheire biogas kesa piyo ni atureheire biogas na ndina kindu mweli mugima na nuthuku marira twekireirwe na ninyonete uteithio wayo ni tukanete mono ni の a Fantas Dirango from the Department of Agriculture and now under the KSA program said this has improved the livelihood of the local community since it is an upcoming enterprise. The activity has improved the livelihood of the community by being one of the pillars within the, within the food security, meaning they, that I feed potatoes, they are fast growing. They are dot tolerant and they are, they are the upcoming enterprise. Also, the, active, the project has improved the, the livelihoods of the youth by engaging them in the transport industry. They have also gone back to the farming as they, it is a short season crop. The farmers can harvest the Bungoma variety sweet potatoes in two seasons per year per acre. They are also engaging the local youth in marketing. Other projects funded by KSAP in Mukuroine Sub County include micro projects in Mukuroine Central Ward, which has benefited 54 groups at the cost of 43 million Kenyan shillings, and 52 groups in Rogi Ward at the cost of 43 million Kenyan shillings. As a producer organization, Wakulima Dairy Cooperative Society has also benefited from 20 million shillings and through public private partnership natural ways food supplements there has been banana value addition at the cost of 3.7 million kenya shillings in a bid to ensure food security and improvement of diet the county government of neri is committed to continue in investing in such projects so that the social economic and nutritional needs of its citizens are met this report has been compiled by the neri governor's press unit <laughs>